Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the transient controller in Reaper. Now, the purpose of the transient controller is like the name says, to control our transients or the attack of our sounds. It's a very powerful feature and it's triggered using a plugin. So I have a track in front of me here that's a multi mic live drum set. Let's see what it sounds like. It sounds pretty good, but I want to bring out the attack on the snare drum. Let's solo it. So let's add that plugin to the snare track. Go to our effects. And if we go to our JS plugins right here, we can scroll down and find transient controller. Or you can just type it in right here. And here it is. Let's double click it. And let's float this plugin so it takes up less room. So it's a very simple plugin attack, sustain, and then output to adjust the final level in case it overloads. So let's try bringing up the attack on the snare. Pretty dramatic. Let's hear it in the track. Before. It doesn't cut through or really punch nearly as much. Let's solo it again. And let's try removing the attack. Notice how it goes away. Giving a very different or more distant sound. But we could also adjust the sustain. Let's put the attack back. Let's bring up our sustain. Notice it brings out the ring in the snare. Let's hear it in the track. And we could also reduce the sustain to get less ring. Creating a very short or staccato type snare sound. Before. and after. So that's one main use of the transient controller, but it could also be used and is very effective on room mics. So let's go to our room mic. Down here, let's hear that in solo. It's not very roomy, we mix with the track. So if we boost the sustain and remove the attack, it'll make it sound like the room is much bigger. So let's do that. Let's put the plugin on the room track right here. Let's try reducing the attack. Now let's bring up the sustain. Before. And after. Let's hear it in the track.
Now, one of the nice things about reducing the attack on the room mic is it makes the close mics more upfront so that the transients on the room mic aren't getting in the way of the close mics. Notice the difference. If I bring it up and bypass, it changes those close mics. But if I turn it back on, the drum room just gets bigger, but it doesn't affect the close mics. So it's much more controllable. Now the transient controller doesn't just work on drums. It also works on percussion. Let's check it out on a shaker. I have a shaker track over here. Sounds like this now. Let's bring out the attack with that plugin. Notice how much more upfront or close to us the shaker sounds before. And we can reduce the attack right here. for a more smooth shaker sound. And we can blend this in the track to really control the transients. And we could also adjust the sustain. to get a more staccato effect. And this will also work on hand percussion, like congas. We'll start with the attack. Again, it's more upfront with more attack. Or we can reduce it to bring down the attack. We could adjust the sustain. Or again, we could reduce it to make it more staccato. Before and after. And finally, it's actually very useful on acoustic guitar. Let's reduce the transients with that same plugin. We'll start by bringing down the attack. For a smoother sound with less transients, or we could bring it up for more attack and more transients. And again, we could also adjust the sustain. Notice how smooth that sounds with almost no attack.
It's a pretty powerful plugin, and it's very useful with transients or a lot of attack. So anyway, that's the transient controller in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!